You guys. I can't, I can't. Hey plant friends, welcome back to another import unboxing video. It has been a hot minute since I've last posted, so I appreciate those who have stayed on for the journey and for my new subscribers. I'm so excited, we're so close to hitting a thousand, I can't believe it. So I just really appreciate you guys that love plants as much as I do. So today, the company called Green Faces ID, they are an Indonesian export company and they sent me six plants to unbox and review for you guys. As spring is coming up, you guys can see if this is a company that you guys might want to order from. I am going to get this all cut open because I know it's going to take forever and I will be right back. Alright, I think I got it open just enough for me to pull out the plants. I like that they included this insulation on the outside because it is cold here in Utah, which is definitely below freezing every night. And it's actually was pretty quick getting here. As I take these plants out, I'll take a little bit more about the company and let's just get right into it. Green Spaces ID is a pretty popular export company. I remember when I first started looking into importing, I saw a ton of videos for this company and they are pretty reputable. I've heard good stories, bad stories, you know. There are certain expectations that come with exporting plants from a whole other country. They did ship pretty quickly though. I placed my order with them on December 9th and the plant shipped out January 6th and arrived last night. So that was January 10th. So once they shipped, it was pretty dang quick getting over here. It took just a couple weeks for the phytosanitary and everything to process. So not too bad. You can see on the inside here, just some polyfill to keep them all wrapped. And we have now all of the plants out and laid on the table. So let's get right into it. I was able to choose three plants and they sent me three plants as a surprise. Cute little thank you note. So let's get started. Oh my gosh, what should we start first? They labeled everything really nicely on here, as you can see. So that's really, really nice. So let's open up one of the big ones first. Okay, so this is one that I chose. This is a Philodendron Splendid, which is a Philodendron Varicosum and Philodendron Melanochrysum cross. Now, I do already have one of these, but it's pretty small and not super doing well. So when I saw that they had this on their website, I was like, don't mind if I do. Importing, it can be really great for a couple different reasons. So I remember, especially a couple years ago, it was so much cheaper to import kind of hard to find plants than it was to get them locally. And that's still kind of true, definitely not as true as it was a couple years ago. That being said, I will put the prices for each of these up on the screen, but oh my gosh, you guys. This is everything I've ever hoped and dreamed for, for Affiliated and Splendid. I'm so surprised with how good this came out. Just look how beautiful that leaf is. I love the leaf shape, and you can even just tell how velvety it is looking at it. It does have a new leaf that looks like it held up super well. Can you imagine six plants fit in that tiny little box? Not me. But look, oh my gosh, I'm so excited for this. I'm gonna set this right up here. Okay, so first one, Super happy, super duper happy with it. And when I did look at the pricing, they weren't like that bad either. Like they were pretty good. So next, ooh, let's open one that they sent me. So this one looks like it's a bipenifolium B16 is what that says. It looks huge. So let's see what we got there. Especially as spring is on its way. I, I just didn't always super interested in watching other people do unboxing videos for imports because it's something that I've always been very curious about. It's nice to see people actually unbox plants from these companies because then you can kind of see what you're getting into. It is huge! Oh my gosh! This 
is beautiful. I love, I think this is commonly called like the horse head philodendron. If I can keep that in my hand, but look at those leaves. This is humongous. It has super healthy aerial roots. Like I could propagate this right now and it would be like totally ready. Must be loving that Indonesian humidity. But look how big this is. Like, okay, two for two. I am very, very happy with that. It'll be interesting to check their roots, but I mean, they look pretty good. And a lot of the times, even if like the roots don't look great, as long as it's a healthy stem, you're golden. So I am not worried at all. Okay. So if you guys remember my last import video, you'll remember that the Alocasia did not ship well at all. So I ordered another one. This is going to be the Alocasia Dragon Scale. I actually don't have any Alocasia in my collection right now. They can just be pest magnets. I don't know. They're too hard to care for. And I do not want to care for them. So I thought this would be super interesting because I have been eyeing this alocasia for a little while. Be interesting to see how it shipped. Are you guys ready? I don't know if I'm ready. I think I'm ready. Okay. Oh my gosh. This is so much better. Look at that leaf. This one is, is the money leaf right there. Wow. This one held up so much better and it already has a new little growth point right there that i am super happy about maybe my last order for an alocasia was just like a fluke maybe they do ship okay most of the time because that that's stunning okay three for three that's pretty dang good odds right there okay this is going to be an inferior moraquianum the queen anthurium they are Arguably one of my favorite anthurium. I do have a couple already and I it's not enough. I need more. So I'm super excited to see this one. This is supposed to be the medium size because they have a couple different sizes. So I'm hoping it's quite sizable. All right, okay. She's cute, she's small, but that's a ton of leaves and it has a new leaf coming in. We got a new coming in. Honestly, guys, this is so cute. Oh my gosh. Pendant and Therium are just one of my favorites. We have only one yellowing leaf and it's the bottom leaf, which is like to be expected. You guys, I don't even know what to say because this is turning out so much better than my last import. Like that's everything I could have hoped for. This is the prettiest Anthurium. I don't even think that this leaf is hardened yet and it's already pushing on a new leaf. That is insane. You guys will have to go and check out my Instagram to see updates on these guys because I, you know I'm gonna be posting these all the time on there. We have two more. Let's see, let's open the Syngonium first. So this is the last one that I chose. This is the Syngonium Yellow Variegated, which is one that I've actually been on the hunt for. I love the Albo so much, and the only other one I've been really wanting was the Aurea version, the Yellow Variegated version. Let's see how this one held up. I also remember in my last import that the Syngonium did not ship that great either, so I have, I have higher hopes. You guys. Uh, okay. This is the most beautiful Syngonium I've ever seen in my whole life. Just look at that variegation. I was kind of worried that it would be like just an Albo Syngonium that was more creamy colored because I've t made that mistake before thinking that it was an Aurea. But no, this is an Aurea. Oh my gosh, you guys, this is better than I could have hoped for, literally. I don't know how many times I can say it, but look how beautiful that is. I can't, and it's also coming with a new leaf. The new leaf will probably die just because it's hard being stuck in the sheath like that for who knows how long in shipping. But you guys, I can't, I can't. All of them are looking so good and we just have one left. This one's just labeled Pylea, but on the website, I went back and looked at it because this is one that they chose for me. And it looks like it's gonna be a Pylea peperomioides. And I actually had this one when I first started collecting and it was like super expensive. Now they're a lot more common and I got rid of mine, but It'll be fun to have one again because they're so cute. <gasps> Speaking of cute, oh my gosh. It's so cute. Okay, maybe I did want a money plant. How have I been living my life without this? Oh my gosh, they all turned out so healthy. 
Okay, out of my two imports that I've done, Green Spaces ID is definitely the winner in the middle of winter. You guys, it's it's the second week of January right now. This is the middle of winter. And like on our best days, we get 40 degrees. So this is incredible. To have all of these look so great. Let me hold them all up. Like, can you guys believe it? Because I cannot. 10 out of 10. Shipping super quick, plants all turned out so well. It'll be interesting to see if like hotter conditions change that, but as far as winter shipping, I am incredibly impressed and I am going to get these roots out, see what we're dealing with and give you a little more information. I hope you guys enjoy the video to future Chloe. All right, plant friends, it's been a couple days since I filmed my unboxing for these beautiful plants here, and I wanted to share some B-roll footage with you guys of the plants, because I am still very, very happy with them, and they look so good after a couple days. I potted all of them up in either Pawn or Lekka, depending on what I had around, and after a day of having them in water, all the roots plumped up. Because at first they were just really dry and I was kind of like, oh gosh, what have I got myself into? But after a day in water, most of the roots plumped up and looked really good. So I couldn't be happier for that and all of them were ready to be potted. So let me share some extra information about green spaces that I forgot to mention earlier as you enjoy some B-roll footage of the plants. I want to say another thank you to Green Spaces ID for sending me these beautiful plants. Overall, I give my experience an 8 out of 10, taking off a couple points just for the roots, even though I expected it. Overall, the plants were gorgeous. If you guys want to make an order, you can use voucher code Chloe underscore 2022 to get an 11% discount off of your order at Green Spaces ID. Again, that is Chloe underscore 2022 to get an 11% discount off your order with them. Thank you guys again for watching this unboxing video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And leave me any questions you have about my experience down below. I would love to answer any questions and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.